Preform has one new interesting feature, which makes it work a little bit more like a presentation. When you create such a complex picture like this one, it's quite hard to navigate in such a picture. And if you zoom out, then the content will be so small in the middle of the screen. But now you can turn it into some sort of presentation. That means that you can zoom in into a selected area of the whole picture. And then you can switch between all of these scenes as you wish. So in order to create a scene, click on that button with the star which is on the bottom left corner of this window. It will open the scenes menu. And as you can see, I have already quite many of them set here. A scene is basically just a location and a zoom amount. So you can jump into any of these scenes from the list just by clicking on it or use the arrow keys to navigate between each one of them. But now, how do you create a new one? Well, first zoom to a selected portion of the screen and position it as you want. Then click on the scenes and use this button to add a scene. Now I can drag it into the list to reposition it in the presentation. So I will put this one right on top to be the first one. To speed up this whole process of creating scenes, you can also use a shortcut. So again, zoom in or zoom out to create the frame you want to capture and use the combination Shift Command S. Now I have another scene in the scenes menu, so I can again reorganize it as I want. And once I'm ready with all of the scenes, I can actually export it as a PDF, which is an interesting option. But now I am ready to give a nice presentation where I can show each of these elements on the page in the nice zoomed frame just with one simple click.